Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Frank Kissier, as it has been reported that the Barca midfielder will consider leaving if offer a contract worth 25 million euros. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Nico Gonzalez, as it has been reported that Barca directors continue to insist that Javi should at least give him a chance, you know, to play for the pivot role next season. But Javi is still against the idea. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. It is more than evidence that Barcelona are willing to let Frank Casey leave this summer. The player has a tempting offer from Saudi Arabia, although there has been no progress thus far. Adding to the context, Sport has reported that Barca have already told Casey's representative that they have opened the doors to the player's exit as long as there is an offer worth 30 million euros. The truth of the matter is our NAS have expressed interest in the midfielder and while they have also established contacts with the entourage, there has been no progress beyond that. Right now, it is said that our NAS are exploring other options and if they decide to go for Frank KC, former talks are expected to take place by tomorrow. So if the offer arrives, Barcelona will only enter into the negotiation if the price is around 30 million euros. Beyond that, as far as the player is concerned, he would be willing to offer as well as if the salary proposal is above 25 million euros, even though he has maintained he wants to stay. Barcelona, let alone Frank Casey, are unaware of what lies in store mostly. One thing that has been made absolutely clear to the player is that they are open to his departure. At the same time, everyone involved understands that the Saudi market is very complicated and volatile, why? which is why they are working with the player in case he has to continue beyond the summer transfer window markets. In general, the player had made his wish known that his priority is to continue, but at the same time, he would be willing to move to a lucrative market such as the Middle East. Similarly, Barcelona have made it clear that they will not distribute any amount if he decides to leave. Now, Casey's departure would be extremely beneficial for Barcelona as they look to comply with the salary limit. This will help Barcelona with player registrations and more importantly new incorporations of course it's no secret that player sales are very important for Barca to continue signing players that they need in their ranks next season frank is has been one of those players that we have been talking about a good number of times about a potential exit as the player is linked to multiple clubs in europe as well as the middle east and now talking about the Middle East, the three clubs currently showing interest are Nas, al Hilal, and Al-Ali have been showing interest and the player is reportedly tempted by that offer, in fact by their offers, as Barcelona continue to have doubts if the player will stay. Javi himself have reportedly spoken to the player and have explained the club situation, even though the manager refused that he will not you know, he will not um, you won't disclose anything that was spoken in that meeting with Frankie C. But the manager have already discussed the plan for next season with the player. Frankie C, of course, really wants to stay. His priority is to stay at Barca. But what reports are saying is the player will understand if manager Javi and the board convinces him that what the club is currently going through needs some players to sacrifice. He will understand such a situation. And I think that's been my choice for player, even though it's not easy. Just after one year that he did sign from AC Milan, Frank Casey's future looks so so uncertain as it stands. So let's see what happens in the future. The player wants a very good offer for him to leave because 
This report is claiming that if that offer doesn't come like the way he wants, worth 25 million minimum, he will, he doesn't think he will leave. He will wants to stay and fight for his place next season. But at the same time, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? It's going to be very, very difficult. Currently, Frankisi takes about 6 million euros per year. And so what is he expecting? If any new or tempting offer arrives, it should be worth around 25 million euros a year before from before you can even start thinking about the possibility of living of course last some few days ago his agent come out came out and you know blasted those rumors saying that they should stop the fake news and everything like that that frank C is not living anywhere frank C is still prioritizing to stay and he will stay according to what his rumors these rumors are saying so Let's see how the future will look like for Frankie C, which I think is a very good midfielder, but Javi have not seen him as important to his plans moving forward. Of course, now bringing in players like um, Ilkay Gondogan, bringing in players like um, maybe a new DM will be coming soon that will further put the player down the pecking order. So for him, if he leaves, he will understand the situation. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona's hunt for a new DM has taken them across Europe. Barca are yet to strike gold in their search, you know, for financial limitations. But it appears clear that they will be signing in the coming month. One of the options Xavi Hernandez has presented that would avoid the hassles of financial fair play and registration was the return of Nico Gonzalez. The La Masia graduate is no stranger to playing for Barcelona first team and he is of course capable of operating in that pivot position too. In fact, the 21-year-old has spent most of his loan stints at Valencia playing in a team's double pivot just in front of the centre-backs. His La Masia roots and strong positional understanding were seen as facets that could only help his incorporation as Sergio Busquets' replacement. According to a report from ESPN, the plan is, to, is no longer on the table. Though Barca directors Deco and Matteo Alemani really like Nico for their role, manager Xavi Hernandez prefers to have someone with more experience take over the reins. As it stands, Ore Romeo appears to be the Catalan's best bet to arrive as a new pivot. Girona demand 8 million euros for just star player, and it is safe to say that the fee is a bargain for a player of his quality. Barcelona have agreed a two-year contract with Romeo, and only an agreement with Girona remains to be struck. However, it remains unclear if the club have the leverage to finance his arrival. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.